Events of 1932. From the Mitcham News and Mercury of 6 January 1933. It can be safely said of Mitcham, as of the majority of other places, that few regretted the passing of 1932, with its times of severe depression, but that everyone is looking forward confidence to enjoying better times in 1933. An important event early in the year was the decision of the council for a petition for the incorporation of Mitcham as a borough. During the year Mitcham Common Conservators sanctioned public golf on the common, and decided not to allow Sunday football. A new Rotary Club for Mitcham was inaugurated in February, and in April Mr Joseph Owen gave £4,025, in addition to the site, for a public library. In November the new super swimming baths were opened. The wedding of Mr Isaac Wilson, J.P., to Miss Elsie Evans, former matron of Wilson Hospital took place in October. The death roll included Dr. A. W. Harrison, Mrs. S. J. Mount, the Reverend Alfred Grove, curate of the parish church, and Mrs. Roberts, wife of the Reverend W. K. Roberts, vicar of St. Mark's Church. The 2nd of January. Frederick Thomas Mansfield, 18, of Homewood Road, Mitcham, electrocuted at Butcher's Shop in Church Road. The 12th of January. Mitcham Council decide on petition for incorporation. The 15th of January. Death of Mrs. Florence Edith Trevelyan Juster, wife of Mr. John Juster, undertaker, High Street, Collier's Wood, aged 59. The 18th of January. Funeral of Mr. Walker T. Davis, of Penge Road, South Norwood, an old-time Mitcham cricketer. The 18th of January. Death of Dr. Arthur William Harrison, of Park Road, Collier's Wood, aged 64. The 28th of January. Mr. and Mrs. William White, of 144, High Street, Collier's Wood, Golden Wedding. The 7th of February. Death of Mrs. Mary Florence Downing, wife of Mr. H. P. Burke Downing, a distinguished church organist of Collier's Wood. The 15th of February. Death of Mrs. Sarah Jane Mount, wife of Mr. Harry Mount, J.P., of Church Road, Mitcham, aged 67. The 15th of February. Inauguration of New Rotary Club for Mitcham. The 19th of February. Death of Mr. B. C. Moore, 18, of Tynemouth Road, Mitcham, a promising footballer and cricketer. The 24th of February. Death of the Reverend Alfred Grove, curate of the Mitcham Parish Church, aged 40. The 5th of March. Funeral of Mr. L. White, for 29 years Chief Sanitary Inspector at Mitcham. The 29th of March. Mitcham and Tooting Football Clubs Amalgamate. The 15th of April. Robbery of £660 from Workman's Hut at Figs Marsh. The 18th of April. Death of Mr. W. R. Boone, of Tamworth Park, aged 96. The 26th of April. Mr. Joseph Owen's munificent gift of £4,025 towards public library, including site. The 26th of April. Election of Mr. W. Carlton, J.P., Chairman of Mitcham Council. The 3rd of May. Public golf course on Mitcham Common sanctioned by conservators. The 1st of June. Mitcham New Congregational Church in London Road, dedicated and opened. The 5th of June. Mr. Stanley G. Barrows, 31, an auxiliary fireman, found gassed at Edmund Road, Mitcham. The 6th of June. Mr. Ernest Burnell, 52, of Prussia Place, Nursery Road, Mitcham, found hanging. The 18th of June. Foundation stone laid of headquarters of 10th Mitcham, Christchurch, Scout Group, by Sir T. Cato Warsfold. The 22nd of June. Death of Mrs. Jane Theresa Lewington, of the Catholic Presbytery, London Road. The 3rd of July. Mitcham Catholics Procession. The 6th of July. Record show at Mitcham Floral and Horticultural Society. The 13th of July. Mrs. Miriam Victoria Moore, aged 35, and her daughter, Denise Olive Moore, aged 6, found gassed at Caesars Walk, Mitcham. The 18th of July. New police boxes opened. The 26th of July. Councillor S. L. Gaston created a Justice of the Peace. The 8th of August. Mrs. Sophie Garrett, aged 62, found murdered at Love Lane, Mitcham. 
Her husband, John William Garrett, aged 56, afterwards found guilty but insane. The 14th of August. Marriage of two dwarfs at St. Barnabas Church. Miss Dorothy Kathleen Griffiths, of First Road, Tooting Junction, 3 feet 10 inches, and Vivian Pascoe, of Hammersmith, 4 feet. The 18th of August. Mr. and Mrs. F. Jones, of Melrose Avenue, Diamond Wedding. The 18th of August. Death of Mr. George Reynolds, an old showman at Mitcham Fair, aged 79. The 30th of August. Destructive fire at Hill Farm, Bishopsford Road. The 18th of September. Fire at Grosvenor Model Laundry, Collier's Wood, damage estimated at £1,200. The 4th of October. Farewell and presentation to Mr. F. C. Stone, headmaster of Lower Mitcham Boys School. The 2nd of November. No Sunday football on Mitcham common decision by conservators. The 12th of November. Death of Mrs. Roberts, wife of the Reverend W. K. Roberts, vicar of St. Mark's Church, Mitcham. The 28th of November. Opening of Mitcham's new super swimming baths and dance hall. The 5th of December. Mr. and Mrs. Isaac H. Wilson entertain Rotary Club of Mitcham. The 7th of December. Opening of Shaftesbury Society's meeting place in Gladstone Road, Mitcham. The 16th of December. The Mitcham News and Mercury's exclusive announcement of Mitcham's first cinema, The Majestic. The 18th of December. Mr. and Mrs. R. J. E. Wyss, of 89 Caithness Road, Mitcham, Diamond Wedding. The 22nd of December. Destructive fire at Bond Road, six cottages involved. The 23rd of December. Mr. and Mrs. A. E. Knight, of 339 Church Road, Golden Wedding. The 23rd of December. Mr. Ronald Arthur Keeble, 20, fell 80 feet to death from Dome of Air Smelting Works, Collier's Wood.